I haven't ever used an ultrasound on a snake before, you're going to be seeing me do it for the first time. So there's a good chance I'm going to make a uh, donkey out of myself for nice terms. But I thought we would check out some of our bigger females that we believe are cycling right now. See if they have follicle growth and show you guys what it's like to use an ultrasound. So stay tuned. What's up y'all welcome back to the clutch my name is John if you're new here hey do me a favor go down below hit subscribe hit that notification bell put it to all and follow us on our journey we've been breeding for two years now we're going into our third and we decided it was time to really step things up uh, not only with the animals that we bring in the animals that we produce but also the equipment that we use and I think the equipment is vital to um, being able to be successful in this industry. I also feel like the knowledge and the way you handle your animals is vital to that. Um, I have always palpated, I believe in palpating, but I decided it was time to kind of be able to focus on females as they're going through their cycles and use an ultrasound as well and use that to understand what the females are doing, how they cycle throughout the year and just use it as a knowledge platform for me. Before we get this started, uh, Matt Summers Reptiles, my boy just had his birthday, so make sure you go show him some love. I'll put him down in the description below. Um, there's two main ultrasounds that people use within the industry. This is the Con Contech, and uh, this is one of the cheaper options in the industry. You also have the Breeder Circle ultrasound that goes for almost double the price of this. Um, when these really started hitting the market, they were around $1,000. Right now, they're give or take $1,200. So obviously, with inflation, stuff like that, you're seeing the price go up. But if you want to jump in on it right now, is the time to do it huge huge important aspect of this is you want to make sure you hit this flat linear pro uh, flat linear probe instead of the convex probe that it usually comes with otherwise you're not going to get a clear image on your animals Pretty much just like a laptop, you're going to open the screen up just like a laptop. It's got a little on off switch on the side. So there's really not too much that you need to worry about as far as finding or like setting things up. There's going to be a freeze button that you need to do and then the measurements. So essentially you have your mouse, your set, which is going to act like your left mouse click. Um, you can even add a mouse to this to make it simpler and handheld. but I just haven't done it yet. It'll start up, it'll be super easy. You can change the animals. We found that it doesn't really matter what animal that's on, you're still gonna be able to find it. So another important thing is you wanna make sure that you're hitting, I don't know if you can see the screen, but you wanna make sure that you're shooting at 72 decibels to really get a clear image of what we see. Um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to get this set up. So our first animal is what was given to me as a inchy clown female. I think she's actually super inchy. We'll find out once she gives us babies. Um, the hard part with this is, as you can tell, it's a live animal. Uh, they don't ever want to do what you want them to do. And the easy way to do this would to be to have them lay flat, right? And then you want to look kind of where their body curves. So the gallbladder is about midway down or a third of the way down their body. And then you want to start looking down here. And this is going to be fun because she's already fighting it. Um, the other thing for it is you want to make sure that you're really getting a good amount of ultrasound gel on your probe. Otherwise, you're not going to get an image at all. I'm going to start up. 
around the spine. Let's see. We can find anything. So follicles are usually they usually sit around five millimeters no matter what. You're just gonna have to kind of rock it back and forth. So So right there. You can see it right there. Right in here, it's basic. I already froze the image, so you can't really see as well, but those black little spots in there are, oh, let me see if I can get it again. Come on, honey. Those black spots up top, Give it to me. <laughs> Your follicles. Can you hit that freeze button? Which one's the freeze button? The one with the snowflake. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure the biggest one just to kind of get an idea of where she is, max, and if she has anything. So we're gonna go and we're gonna click. Measure. And then we're gonna do distance. And we're gonna go, looks like from there to there. And so she's sitting at 10. So she's a little bit lower than where we would want to start pairing. Everyone says around 13 millimeters is where you wanna start pairing. Um, I think with that, that's the perfect time to kind of do first introductions with males and that should entice her to start growing and building her follicles. And she's plenty mature enough, so there's no reason why we shouldn't find that. So this is one of our bigger girls. This is a Inchy Fire and she has been paired. Uh, she's showing me bull wrapping signs and all kinds of other signs that would make me think she was starting to cycle. So we're gonna go ahead and check her out. It looks like... I think she already has... I think she might have eggs. Eggs right now. Yeah. There's a couple spots that look like they were eggs and not just... Right there? Yeah. Yeah, I think she already has eggs forming. So... That's pretty cool. Let me see if I can... Oh, she's not gonna let me. She's not gonna let me. It's like, nope, I'm done. Done. So that's cool. So we see eggs forming in her. So we know we have another clutch on the way already. It's pretty cool. So this is my girl, Cruella. And uh, we're going to prove her out before we say exactly what might happen with her. But she's a yellow belly with a potential double head. We'll see what happens. And let's jump into it. Holy oh, shit. yeah. Try to get that back and I'll try and hit the pause button. Right there. So that's not even the biggest. So she's got some big old follicles going and that's not even her biggest one. Like you could see the next one was gonna be bigger. But she is not allowing us to do more. And she has been locked a couple of times so there's a possibility we're getting there um, those are some pretty pretty big follicles though I got top and bottom so I'm gonna go off of that of that really big one so if you look if you look there is a darker ring I don't know if you can see it but there's kind of Slightly. a darker ring and that's what I'm shooting for is like right at the edge of that ring 13 and a half millimeters so that's perfect time to start pairing so hopefully we'll continue to see growth out of her um, that's freaking exciting I'm super excited about that what's up so uh, looking for the follicles do they just line up in a straight row or could they be two next to each other so, going down there's two oviducts right 
So what we're seeing is she's cycling on one oviduct. Now, when a male goes in, usually what happens with the male and with the female, they're gonna alternate which oviduct and which hemipene they're using. So they can either go from both, but when we're looking at this, it's, this is shooting fully through. So that could potentially be follicles from both oviducts, we can't tell. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty basic layman's version. Obviously, you don't have to be like a mad scientist uh, radiology tech, anything to use these machines. And they're not the say all be all, but by all means, they're a great tool to help you achieve a higher level of breeding. I think if you're trying to put this into a business or something like that, having an ultrasound machine just really helps out in the long end. If you all enjoyed this, do me a favor, make sure you go down below, you hit that like and you share this out with friends that might be looking into getting into breeding snakes or if you're interested in it or have friends that might be interested in snakes. Hey, share the love. I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you guys next week on the next one. Y'all stay blessed.